Howdy, 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 and welcome to the SportsRProject.com YouTube channel. I'm Hersey, and today I'm doing a little arts and crafts project for the uh, 1988 Swedish style Sportster that I have. Um, it has this uh, Maltese cross um, cut into the top motor mount as part of the frame. Um, I put a piece of blue tape behind it, so hopefully it makes it so you can see it a little better in the video. It doesn't disappear. Well, it's to match that, I etched a Maltese cross into this uh, aluminum side cover I made. So I just um, cut this out of a piece of eight in, uh, eighth inch aluminum, and then I did this uh, electric etching process um, to etch a Maltese cross um, into it. And today I'm gonna use the same process uh, to etch a Maltese cross into the ignition timing cover. Uh, which goes on the other side of the bike um, to match uh, the Maltese cross here in the frame, uh, the one I put on the side cover, and then the uh, Maltese cross uh, velocity stack that I put on it. Um, pretty simple process, takes a uh, some kind of power source. I've got a bench power supply that I'm going to be using, um, some Q-tips, some vinegar and salt, uh, and we'll just etch into it. I've never done a chrome piece before, uh, so we'll see how that goes um, Before I head over to the bench if you could just hit the subscribe button and the notification button. I'd appreciate it uh, so let's go over to the bench and uh, and Etch a Maltese cross in this um, To match the other ones that are on the 1988 Sportster So as what I already did is I created a stencil um, Just out of some adhesive vinyl. Um, this is just vinyl that's backed with uh, an adhesive that you can pull uh, the, the back off of and then it's it's sticky um, so it'll stick to uh, the ignition uh, timing cover um, and I've got it kind of uh, just masked out to where I'm going to do uh, the etching. Now I have this um, bench uh, power supply. I've seen people do this with um, just a battery um, even just a little 9 volt battery uh, but I have this this bench power supply and I've connected up the positive uh, to the timing cover. Um, I've got a solution of just vinegar and uh, salt uh, mixed up in here and I'm going to take these q-tips and just dunk them in there and let them soak. Um, now so what we'll do is we'll take the negative side of the power supply and we'll hook it up and um, I'll take one of the Q-tips out of the solution and then just connect um, the negative uh, to the Q-tip down where it is uh, nice and, and soaked with that vinegar and salt solution. Now I'm going to turn the power supply on. And then is what we'll do is we'll touch the, uh, the end of the Q-tip um, to the timing cover and it should send a charge through and start to kind of smoke and bubble and I'm not sure if you can see that on the video but it's smoking um, a little bit and starting to etch that metal as the electrical charge flows through the um, the vinegar and salt on the q-tip and through the uh, the timing cover and it takes a little while just kind of you can see it's kind of bubbling up and starting to, to kind of cut into the metal and we'll do this until the until it, it, it stops bubbling really and then you just change out your q-tip um, typically um, this is going to take um, I, when I've done it before it's taken uh, a, a dozen or so q-tips on both sides when it stops kind of smoking and bubbling just unhook it and then drop it in the other side to let it soak and I'll get another q-tip that's been soaking and we'll uh, clamp it in there and then just keep moving and we want to go um, all the way around um, the exposed uh, area of the stencil and we'll just keep 
rolling through there you can you can see well hopefully in the the shot you can see it bubbling and it's just etching into the metal on the cover here I've now I've never done this on um, a chromed cover I've always done it on uh, just a, aluminum uh, so we'll you know it's first for me uh, we'll see how it comes out um, uh, one thing you want to be careful of you don't want to touch the actual um, negative lead uh, to the the metal you want it going through the q-tip and the reason why is because you'll get an arc and potentially it could blow uh, the fuse in the power supply Keep, uh, keep rolling around this. But then is what I do is every few, I just blot it off so I can kind of see where it's at. Actually, I think the, the color that we're seeing there is coming from the, um, underneath the chrome. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's going to have kind of a, a red tint to it. Good way we'll know that we've kind of got it all covered too if we've got that um, kind of copper color in there. I don't know, uh, I really don't know what this uh, ignition cover is made out of. Um, it's a Harley one, uh, it was an OEM one um, that I had in a box of stuff. Uh, yeah, just keep keep kind of working in the corners and you know as it stops so as it kind of dries out just drop the q-tip in get another one that's good and soaked put it in there and then keep on keeping on So I'm going to do a few passes of this uh, and we'll get it to uh, kind of where it needs to be and then uh, we'll be back. Just pulling the rest of the stencil off um, and you can see where we etched into the chrome. Um, kind of cool to the copper there I didn't didn't expect that we'll see how it how it patinas and and how it lasts you can if you run your fingernail across this you can feel uh, the difference in the depth right from where we etched to the chrome um, you know I've never etched a chrome piece before so I don't know what how it's gonna hold up uh, we'll see um, I mean it looks pretty cool I think it's gonna look good uh, mounted on the bike so that's where I'm gonna go to now and uh, We'll, uh, we'll get it mounted up and see how it looks on the bike. So I'm just mounting the, um, the ignition timing cover that we just etched back on the bike. Um, it's just two uh, stainless steel screws. Um, and we'll get those screwed in. I put a drop of blue uh, Loctite on each of them. I'm also, I also replaced the, um, the gasket that goes behind the timing cover. Uh, but there's the timing cover that we etched with that Maltese cross. Um, it, that copper is already starting to patina a little bit. It's got a bit of, uh, of uh, a green patina on it, as copper does, um, which I, I think looks pretty good with you know the rest of the crustiness on the bike, right? I mean, the cam cover it's got a lot of oxidation. Um, maybe I'll clean it up someday. Maybe I'll uh, replace it. I, who knows? But uh, you know, it's an old school bike. It's a ripper. It rides. Um, just fine even with the crustiness on it uh, So it may just kind of stay like it is um, But that Maltese cross that we etched in there matches the the one that was already on the frame uh, Motor mount which is you know what kind of started this kind of Maltese cross um, You know just putting these little hints of the Maltese cross in it. It's an old-school uh, kind of look I've got the one um, that you know we saw earlier that I put on the side cover 
um, the one in the frame, of course, and then I added the velocity stack, and now um, I've etched this uh, Maltese cross into the uh, ignition timing cover. So it came out pretty good and easy to do. Um, just a couple of, uh, you know, uh, power source, a DC power source, some Q-tips, some vinegar and salt, and a few minutes, and I was able to cut that in there, and I think it looks great. Um, so if you have any questions about the process, just uh, please leave them down in the comments below. Happy to answer them. Um, any questions about the bike as well, just leave them down in the, the comments. And uh, if you like this uh, video, please sure to give it a big thumbs up and, um, and subscribe uh, so that you get um, all the rest of the videos I post or get notified when I post other videos. Uh, until next time, uh, build, tinker, and ride. Maybe a little arts and crafts in there as well. Uh, and uh, take it easy out there.